Greetings to all. My name is Sakshi Pandey and I am a third year doctoral student at Graduate School of Agriculture and Life Sciences at the University of Tokyo. I am originally from India and I have been living in Tokyo for the last two years. My PhD research topic is examining the linkage between socioeconomic inequalities and food and nutrition security outcomes in India and South Asia. So food and nutrition security, as you all may have heard somewhere, is one of the most important determinants of human well-being. Food and nutrition security can be, uh, it's not just about the availability of food, but also availability and accessibility to sufficient and nutritious food that satisfies the nutritional requirements of the body and without any presence of disease or disorders. These nutritional and food security outcomes are influenced by many factors such as climate change, wars, conflicts, international trade policies, government policies, and socioeconomic determinants such as education, poverty, awareness, etc. In my research, I am essentially trying to find the linkage of how these socioeconomic determinants affect the food and nutritional security outcomes in India and South Asia. Why India and South Asia? Let's give you a bit of background. South Asia is one of the most populated region in the world today with 1.8 billion of people. And uh, in terms of agricultural output, the region is the second largest contributor of the agriculture and fishery output in terms of global value. Um, if we see more than 60% of the population in the South Asian region is involved in agriculture and allied sectors as for their primary livelihoods. Now coming to India, as you might have known, that India is now the most populated country in the world with 1.4 billion of population. Um, again, in India, 50% of the population is involved in agriculture and allied sectors for their primary livelihood. If we see about the agriculture production statistics, India is the largest producer of milk and pulses in the world, contributing to almost one fourth of the production. If we see about other uh, production statistics, such as rice, sweet, sugar cane, and uh, cotton and uh, vegetables and fruits, India is the second largest producer. Uh, India is also third largest producer in terms of egg and eighth largest producer in terms of meat. So what these uh, statistics signify? Does this region has no um, uh, food insecurity problems, no nutritional insecurity problems? The answer is no. In South Asian region, more than 50 million of children under five years of age are suffering from one or the other form of nutritional deficiencies. When it comes to India, almost 1.4 million children under five years of age are severely malnourished. The question is, why despite so much of agriculture production, so much of food production, this, these regions are facing a huge nutritional security issues? Researchers have called it the South Asian enigma, where the region has progressed so much economically, but the burden of nutritional security is still is much bigger than compared to the other part of the world. One of the primary regions, primary reason of this is the prevalence of socio-economic inequality. As we see, India and the region also has a high number of people living under extreme poverty and there are many socio-economic inequalities that prevail due to the poverty and um, infrastructure and other related issues. So in my research, I'm essentially trying to explore using different uh, research methods such as uh, literature review and data analysis uh, how these socioeconomic inequalities impact the food and nutritional outcomes in India and in South Asian region. And we have found that uh, despite so much of growth, there is still a very prevalent uh, socioeconomic inequality. And we saw that for the food and nutritional out security outcomes, poverty and education status, especially of the head of the household and the gender, plays a huge role in terms of determining the food and nutritional security outcomes. And my research calls for a strong policy action and uh, urges uh, the policymakers and government to look 
towards eradicating these kind of social economic inequalities to improve the overall outcome and well-being of the population. Thank you.